On this video I'm going to show you how to fit the continuous ink system from City Ink Express to the Epson Stylus C84. So the fit method is exact, exactly the same for the Epson Stylus C86. So one of the first things to check when the continuous ink system arrives is have you got any air in your lines. So if you've got more than about 4 inches of air you need to prime the system. So I'm going to show you now how to prime the system. So firstly, you need to, with your accessory bag, you need to remove the syringe and the small sharp needle. In this case, it's a blue one. So on this one, we've got a large gap of air in the black ink line. So we're going to prime the black ink line colour. So put the sharp needle onto the end of the syringe and then we're going to put it straight through the large plug. You need to make sure that the needle doesn't touch the ink inside and then we're going to draw back on the syringe to pull the air out. So you need to do it once and then expel the air then repeat the process expel the air and then this time on the third time we're going to separate the plunger from the syringe, just the plunger, like so. So what's actually happened now is that the, the black ink line is now completely full and it will be ensuring that the cartridge is filling as well. So you need to repeat that process for any of the other colours that have got more than around 4 inches of air in the system. So, as I say, this stays in for about 15 seconds and then we can remove it. So, one of the other things you have to do for our systems before you install it is the air balance chamber. So, these four plugs here, these are your refill holes. When you want to refill the system, you just take this plug out and either pour it in if you've got a steady hand or you can use a syringe and squirt it, inject it that way. So these four inner ones are your air balance chambers. So it is normal to have some ink in the bottom of these chambers, but what we do advise before you install the continuous ink system is that you draw some of the ink out of here and transfer it to the main pot here. So we're going to remove both plugs, the large plug and the small plug for that colour. And then with the syringe with the large long needle on, we're going to draw out about 6ml of ink from the inner chamber, 6 to 8ml, and then transfer it to the main chamber like so. So again, you will need to repeat that for all the other colours. So it's most important if you have to prime the system that you do do that step. So we're going to put the plugs back in for now and we're going to sit it here at the side of the printer. So we're going to switch the printer on and open the lid. And wait for the carriage to move to position. So while that's doing moving there with the cartridges in your hand we're going to remove the elastic band and then we're going to slide the carriage over and insert the ink cartridges like so uh, two. click them into place one two just check that the cable's not trapped three, four, so they're all clipped into place there. So the ink line, you just push it down here in this corner and then you can close the lid like so. It doesn't matter, that it won't crush it enough for, to stop the ink getting through. As long as it's tucked in this corner here, it will still come out. So on here we have the clip here. So we're going to remove the backing tape from it. Now you can either do this with your fingers or use the syringe, uh, use the tweezers that we 
supply in the pack. So we're going to mount this clip about 40 mil or 4 centimeters up here, like so. This clip here, it's just to tidy the cable up. So we're going to mount this one at an angle like that. You can move these clips if you want to move it a bit further around the side or up and down, but that's its natural position. So one of the things to check is that there is enough ink line for it to move all the way over to the left. And what you're looking at is this to make sure this is not too tight. If it's too tight, you may hear some grinding noises from the printer as it's struggling. So you need to move it all the way over to the left and then all the way over to the right. And again, make sure that it's not too tight. So if you need to adjust the ink lines, you can manually push them and feed them through the clips, create more of a loop and feed some back down here. So they are set at the factory, but sometimes they do need a slight adjustment. So this one, probably a tiny bit tight, so we're going to give it a bit more by, a bit more ink line by pulling it through. There we are, all the way over to the left, and that's it, that's perfectly okay just like so. So we're going to remove the backing tape from this one and then we're going to mount this clip. So, I mean you can still see some air in some of the lines here, but basically to cut down on the video time I haven't primed them all. So, I mean if you do a couple of head cleans, nine times out of ten they will disappear anyway. So we're going to mount this just over here so that we can still open the tray the paper tray like so. So one of the next things to do on the continuous ink system is to install the air filters. So remove the air filters from the bag. Any other bits and bobs that you see in the bag, they're all spared. So just put them back in the box. So the air filters themselves, the, it's a two-way, one-way air filter, so it has uh, narrow pointed end and then a short fat end. So you need to remove the small flat plugs like so, all four of them. Two, three, four. And then you need to install the air filters with the fat end down like so. Just click them into place like so. then the continuous ink system can sit over here on the right hand side of your printer just tidy the cable up. So it is very important that the continuous ink system sits on the same level as the base of the printer. It shouldn't be higher and it shouldn't be lower. If you raise it higher it will flood your printer so it must be kept on the same level. Once we've finished the lid can just close like that you'll get a tiny little gap there um, and then it's perfectly okay. So that's how you install the continuous ink system from City Ink Express on the Epson Stylus C84 with the C86 being exactly the same fit method. Thank you.